2023 Mercedes-Benz EK SUV. The EV tides are turning from small, economy-minded hatchbacks and sedans to a new phase of luxury sedans and SUVs with ever-increasing power and range capabilities. The 2023 Mercedes-Benz EK SUV is among the latest entries, a midsize, five-passenger luxury SUV that can travel up to about 280 miles on a full charge. It's the most practical Benz EV yet, larger than the firstborn EQB and more affordable than the flagship EQS. It arrives at the same time as a brace of other luxury choices from Cadillac, Genesis, Lexus, and Polestar, and joins a few more seasoned options such as the Audi e-tron, BMW iX, and Tesla Model Y. The performance doesn't compensate for one of the EK SUV's biggest shortcomings, small cargo space. The Benz falls short relative to its rivals on this crucial SUV metric, offering just 14.0 cubic feet of space behind the second row. You can increase that to around 20 cubic feet if the rear seat backs are fully upright. But if your passengers prefer to recline, the EK offers just half the cargo space that you'd find in the Model Y or BMW iX. That said, folding down the rear seats opens up nearly 60 cubic feet, a more competitive and useful amount thanks to a high and rounded roof. 2024 BMW i5 The BMW 5 Series has been redesigned for 2024, and in addition to new looks and a roomier cabin, it now includes an all-electric i5 model. The most likely competitors are the Mercedes-Benz EK sedan, which starts almost $8,000 above the BMW's base price, and the Genesis Electrified G80, which ups the ante an additional $4,000. The Genesis is available only with a dual-motor, all-wheel drive powertrain and is actually priced a few thousand lower than the dual-motor, all-wheel drive versions of both the i5 and the EK. As a bonus, the i5 is competitive in range, getting up to 295 miles per charge, BMW a Euro TMS estimate. There are other mid-size luxury and performance electric sedans available, but like the $106,395 Audi e-tron GT, they are far more expensive than the i5. Tele Euro TMS Model 3 has long been the standard bearer in the upscale midsize electric sedan class, but while the past year's series of price cuts make it much less expensive than the i5. The Model 3 has a positively Spartan interior and Kena Euro TMT match the BMW a Euro TMS high level of fit and finish. 2023 Hyundai Ioniq 6 Hyundai's decision to make the second of its Ioniq EV models a sedan brings a welcome bit of variety to an SUV-dominated market. Its arching, aerodynamic shape helps deliver up to 361 miles of driving range, but will give design pundits plenty to argue about. We find it attractive and better looking in person than in photos. Dot. Ionic 6 variants are less powerful than their rivals, and all but the BMW have more cargo space, but those are the only areas in which it falls short. And for the mainstream driver Hyundai is targeting, the power differences won't matter much. Twenty twenty three Lexus RZ. The 2023 RZ450e small luxury crossover is Lexus' first all-electric vehicle. The two-row, five-seat RZ, Lexus officials say, is intended to help ease first-time EV buyers out of their gas burners and into all-electric driving without too much disruption. While the segment leading Tesla Model Y delivers more than 300 miles of range and most others in the class, such as the Genesis GV60, are close to 250, the RZ is at the bottom with a mere 220 miles, and that's only for the base model. Step up to the two versions with 20-inch wheels, and range drops to a dismal 196 miles. Twenty twenty three Nissan Aria. New for twenty twenty three, the Nissan Aria joins the Nissan Leaf as the second electric vehicle in the automaker's lineup. 
The Aria is larger, more powerful, and more responsive than the Leaf, with sportier handling that makes it fun to drive on winding roads. It has a roomy interior with ample cargo room and a large infotainment touchscreen that's easy to use. There's a choice of front-wheel or all-wheel drive, along with standard or extended range batteries to help reduce range anxiety. Drivers can expect 216 miles of range from front-wheel drive models equipped with the standard battery, and extended range battery packs carry estimates of between 289 miles and 304 miles, depending on the car's trim level. Top Aria trims also include ProPilot Assist 2.0 with hands-free driving features to make road trips and daily commutes less tiring for drivers. Twenty twenty four Audi Q eight e tron. Shakespeare is famous for writing, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet, and that adage is as true now as it was four hundred plus years ago, even when applied to the twenty twenty four Audi Q eight e tron. That's because it's essentially a refreshed Audi e tron SUV with a slightly different name. The original e tron SUV, Audi's first all electric vehicle, debuted in twenty nineteen, and this new Q eight e tron shares much of its style, internal components, and personality. In terms of style, the new Q80 Tron could be hard to tell apart from its predecessor. There's a new grille frame that extends under the headlights, but that's as different as the exterior gets. The interior is virtually a dead ringer for the previous e Tron. The most significant changes are found in the spec sheet. The Q80 Tron is more aerodynamic, has an increased battery capacity, and more efficient motors. Combined, they contribute to an estimated range of 285 miles, which is a significant upgrade from the older e-tron's 222-mile range. Twenty twenty four Chevrolet Blazer EV. The march to electrification is in full swing, and Chevrolet Euro TMS EV lineup is growing. The latest model announced is the twenty twenty four Chevrolet Blazer EV. It should go on sale in the summer of 2023, which is also when the Chevrolet Silverado EV pickup truck is slated to debut. It will join the smaller Equinox EV, which should arrive a few months earlier, as well as the existing compact Bolt UV and Bolt EV hatchback. At present, the Tesla Model X is the closest competitor to the Blazer EV. All other electric SUVs on sale today are smaller, but the list of larger models arriving over the next two years is growing. The mid-range Blazer EV second lieutenant and RS trim levels will go on sale first. The performance-focused SS should follow a few months later, and the entry-level first lieutenant is expected in early 2024.